you may have heard of our body going into shock. Well, this is a physiological process. It's sometimes detrimental, but there's a good reason for it. So what is shock? Shock is the body's reaction to a sudden drop in blood pressure, or when the body detects that we don't have enough circulating blood. The response is to rapidly compensate by diverting blood away from the peripheral and into the central organs. Our system narrows the blood vessels in the hands, feet and extremities to increase the overall cardiovascular system's pressure and move blood to the organs where it's needed most. It's this rapid constriction of blood vessels that can be quite effective in helping these situations. People going into shock usually present as feeling very weak and with low blood pressure. Often their heart rate and breathing rates would increase. They'll exhibit cold, sweaty skin and may feel thirsty and appear very confused. If this process progresses, this can lead to unconsciousness and sometimes cardiac arrest. There are a few reasons why this can occur. A heart attack or other cardiac dysfunction can affect circulation and result in shock. So can heavy bleeding after injury or even during surgery. Lastly, some infections, bacterial toxins or immune responses can cause rapid dilation of the blood vessels and induce shock. Going into shock does help in cases of rapid blood loss and diverting blood away from the periphery and into areas of most need is very useful. However, nearly 20% of people who experience shock will die, with the recovery rate and severity of the shock vary with age, health and the injury which brought it on. If someone goes into shock around you, the first aid involves laying them down, raising their legs if appropriate and calling for an ambulance. If necessary, commence CPR. But the sooner we can get these patients into a hospital, the better.